Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Hawkeye FC Creator Cup career mode. Obviously, if you watched the last couple of episodes, we have not had a good time of it, honestly. Especially in the last episode, it was just... Oh my god. You can make a highlight reel of the, of the just... The pain. We won one game when I was against Man United, and that's when we simmed. We played three. We, we drew 2-2 two -two with Everton. We should have won that game. Then we lost 2-0 to City. Then we lost 5-0 to Spurs. I, I need to try and keep my cool in these games, even when I'm losing badly, and try and do something. Because I'm losing my cool so early, but it is really, really hard to keep my cool when we, we're struggling as this much. Um, the, probably the big change I'm probably going to make is I'm actually going to start Montez over... Over on Yudika on this one. Um, apart from that, um, yeah, I'll leave it as that. Just to, just for the passing wise, we are playing Arsenal at Hawkeye Lane. Can we get off to a good start in this episode? Let's see. Come on, guys, let's go. I want, I want a better episode. I really, really do. I feel like the play, the players need it. Just want a better performance. That's all I want. Montez from downtown. Oh, Rakovic gets it. Well, actually, 50 50 into this game right now. Come on, Danny Gray, get you it. No. Oh, that's better. Good lad. Keep going, lad. Akuna! Yes! Come on, we deserve that. We have tried so hard. I have no idea. We have just had to focus so much. Just to focus on every pass, focus on the energy, and Akuna gets his goal. Come on, lad. Let's hopefully keep our heads. The one thing I'm trying not to do is absolutely overwhelmed by running after one player. I'm trying to pull one players where they need to. Yakuno getting there. Oh, Amos. Do you know what? I'll take that. I'm going to take that fucking free kick. Just hope for some bits it doesn't make, <coughs> make me pay. Oh, he's done. Do you know what? I'll take that foul. Vincent, out to Gavi. Can he make something happen here? Vincent. Vincent! Oh! Unlucky. Unlucky. Right, let's put keep the pressure on. Oh, he's offside. Come on! Gotta bring Gavi off. Bring Edeka on. Vincent, ah, oh, so close. Bring our hand on a little bit of fresh legs. Oh, Kuna. Fuck off. Let me get in fucking front, dude. Oh, my big! Yes! We get a big win! Oh, Hawkeye FC! Holy crap, the all the shit we've had to pull in the last few months. And we have beaten a big team here in Arsenal. I don't know exactly where we are in the table, to be honest. Didn't look beforehand, but that was massive. 
We did have a chance to extend it. We nearly, we had to pull a lot of big defensive work out today. Come on, boys. Do you know what, that? I will take that. That was a hard-fought game. Uh, we do get some scout reports as well. Any decent players from Peru? Guerrero, no. Uh, Tardo, no. Oliveira, no. Puskal, no. There's not really anyone with a decent one. This guy, uh, no, nothing just yet, but I'll leave them guys in there. Uh, what about Sweden? Um, this guy, 6'4, yeah. Not really. Strom, uh, good potential, but again, the value is out there. Anything from, I got a max of 70 there. Uh, Lambert, uh, Jesse Bailey. Morgan Jackson, not good enough. Lambert. Oh, he's nearly a million. Get in there. Six foot one. We'll have a little look at him. See what position he is. Uh, let's have a little look at him. He's worth about around a million. So, and uh, he is a CDM. Okay. But he's also a centre back apparently as well. Wow, his physical is actually really well rounded to be honest. I'm wondering, uh, Noah Lambert, would he be our decent as us? He looks more like a centre back, looking at his passing and stuff like that. So you know what? I'm gonna, I might, I don't have that many centre backs either. So maybe this will, this will be good for us. So we'll get out and then we'll start training. But he's sixth one overall as well, 15 years of age. So again, a half decent player to have in our youth academy. <laughs> You know what? We just beat Arsenal. They're actually bottom of the table. What the hell? They're bottom of the table with only two wins and six losses. Okay. I don't know. I don't really know what to make of that. Because we actually were a decent team. They were hard. And we only just beat them. To be honest, we should have scored more. But we just didn't take our chances. That is a big thing. We need to take a chance when we get them. Because especially when we're coming far and through between. Uh, it is what it is. So our la other games are as such. We've got an away game. An away game against Crystal Palace. we got Leeds United at home. And we've got an away day at Chelsea. So probably we're going to simulate these next two games and probably play a Chelsea one because that's a, obviously the Chelsea one's a big game as well. I want to play them. So we'll simulate this one against Paris. They are about mid-table, same as us, so hopefully we can get away with something. And we do, we win. And Sona, Akuna, and Yan Kuto. So sim games have actually probably proven to be a decent little out for us at the moment. We're getting off for Bobby Kiss, one of our originals. I'm actually just gonna accept this. This guy, thank you for your service in that first season. You were an absolute legend of this club. Hopefully you just go and get some game time as you deserve it. And we're actually, um, we just got a confirmation about Curtis Assault, so he has, he's going to be leaving us in January. Oh, you're going to get about 100k for him, but it is what it is. It's another name off the books. Uh, unfortunately, part of it is going to be staying a little bit longer. Uh, let's have a... Yeah, Leeds are actually sick for the moment, what's interesting. Yeah, let's have a look. What's their probable team? We've got Clive Marie, he's got Costa de Hood, uh, Gerard Tudor, Fredericks, Meslier, still in there, Rafinha. I don't know, I think, is that Kanging Lee? It's a decent little team, actually. You know what? I might be changing my mind here. I might much rather play the game against Leeds than the one against Chelsea. Because I thought it would be lower down on the table. But you know what? I am going to play that. By the way, Kuri's gone up. Wood's gone up. Uh, Thomas is finally in 80 as well. Vincent is going up. So hopefully, us just going up. Hopefully, we can just get some more points going forward. These are the kind of games as well I've got to take. Because obviously, hopefully, games like this, we should be able to get some points from. So maybe these are games more likely I'm wanting to play at the moment. So, and as I said, I do want to mix up the, t the, play the teams I play, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, final game of the episode, what we're, we're going to be playing anyway, and it's against Leeds. Let's go.
So let's go. Oh, Kyle in again. Good to get by his leads. Another team. Hopefully we'll be battling for a similar spot spot. We've got a decent little team as we saw in the probable team. Because it looks like it looks like they're reasonably the same. So don't know about bait is in midfield. We've got Fredericks. Well I'm guessing he's Ryan Fredericks. Then again, we're quite far in. So he'll be getting on a little bit. If that is him, that is. Oh, brilliant for Thomas. I'm sorry, he gets that. Gabby. Oh, Vincent. Vincent! He's missed it. Vincent! I thought he scored. I thought he scored. How close was this? It was worrying mentally uh, so much he had to die for it. Oh, he just, he just like, slipped by the post. Ten minutes hit and we've had three chances already. Oh my god, fan fuck for wood. Come on. Oh fuck off! Why can't you can fucking just control it? What is that? Fuck's sake, between cash and wood. Just shit. Just shit. Fucking shit. Fucking control. Between you both. What is Jan Kuta doing? Why is he coming across when I don't want him to? My God, bit the the passing is insane. And Cash, he's so fucking lazy on the ball. Right, Amos, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? But what is this? Why is the passing so bad? He's so shit! Oh, I'm so ready just to fucking sell one and cash together just to fucking get a fucking player in of centre back who can pass! One and cash together just to fucking get a fucking player in of centre back who can pass! And then we fucking missed our fucking sitters in the start and now we're fucking paying for it. Yes, fucking Thomas, get that ball. Get that fucking ball, I swear to God. Ball. Get that fucking ball! I can't even celebrate, just fucking get the ball. Yes! Come on! Gabby's there! And we get it straight back. That's what I wanted. Five minutes, six minutes into the second half. And we get the goals back. Right. Ref. He's gone. Yes, he's gone. He went right through the back of me there. A little cut back. And that now they attempt their man down. That is brilliant for us. Oh, right. 
keep the pressure on. United, fuck you, fuck your city, get it down your neck, because Gavi has got a brace, and we have brought you back, we are back in the lead, well we are in the lead for the first time, that is a really good pass from Sonner as well, I've got to say, that is much, much better lads. Fuck. Who the fuck's this beady bastard? But look at this. It's just a straightforward goal. Fucking McAllister. Fucking hell. Come on. We're got, starting to get the hang of this now. Shit! Cash is no oh, do you know what? I'm so fucking ready to drop Cash. He's been shit, but I've got no one to fucking put him in for. Fucking! Oh my god! Is they've lost another player? Need a good fucking free kick player. Oh, of course, that's not going to go in. Oh, you fucking twat. You're an absolute twat. You're an absolute. Fuck off. Fuck this game. It's just impossible to defend. Some of my players need to fucking brighten up. Wood and Cash, they have been awful so far. Wood has been somewhat okay. Cash, he really needs to fucking book his ideas up. Because he is so close to getting fucking put out of his team. Here we go, Stamford Bridge. Wasn't going to play this one, but he is at Stamford Bridge. And it is the leaders at the moment. So, I would like to see... Because I do feel like, especially in the last two games, we've played alright. We've actually not done bad. We've got a few, we've got a win against Arsenal. We should have won against Leeds. We just, again, the passing is just doing us at the moment. I do want to have a little look at what this team looks like. Who's at the top of the Premier League right now? Basically, what have we got to fucking get up to? But look at that. Um, Akuna is somewhat starting to get his act together. Here we go. Is that Jordan Pickford in there? Beast James, Grenard, we've got, got Musser, Ginter, Chilwell, Kai Havis and Thielman's in the middle. Hit ZH, Lukaku and Diego Mendes, no idea who he is. We've got Ian Bailey, Leroy Sane and Lucas Hernandez on and QT. Holy shit, they've got a whole lot of left backs. They've got a holy shit. <coughs> here we go. Stamford Bridge awaits us. Can we do something here against the leaders so far in the Prem. We just got to try our best. That's all we can do. 
Gabby, who has recently got up to an 81 as well, hopefully he can put in a good shift for me. He, did, he got two goals against Leeds. Reese James comes in there. Reese James is fucking belting down at right. Jesus Christ, and straight away. Thank God that was straight at Amos. I can feel how James is going to give us a lot of problems down that right. Kuna! <coughs> okay. That wasn't great, but you know what? It was a, sh it was a glimpse at goal. Now look at that. It's just first touch fucking passes. <coughs> I can't... I can't actually get near them. It's first touch fucking passing. And fucking habits can go fuck off, run to your fucking and suck your cut your manager's cock, you fucking dick. I, I, oh my god, it's so hard to get a ball off them. And that fucking James is just fucking he's just fucking powering past my players. Vincent! Do you want to Fucking move! You stood right next to the guy! Fucking move! Hi! Piss off, dude! You've got to be putting on a fucking roof in the net! Come on. Oh, fuck off, Pink Fed, you fucking twat! Oh, fuck off, Mendez. What the fuck? Fuck off, Lukaku. Yeah, like he does that in fucking real life. Fuck off. Just fucking Mendez. I couldn't get anywhere near him. Oh, pick for these fucking keepers can fuck themselves. And this is why I'm missing so much because they're fucking going for the corner so much. They're missing it. But we are because we fucking can't finish. And Pickford has just made fucking stupid save after stupid save. I don't give a shit, ref. I literally don't give a shit. <coughs> Fucking hell. Just... It's just so boring. It actually is. Because there's no... We have no other way of getting their goals. It's not like every other goal is like a corner or a free kick or a really good fucking move. It's the same shit. 
we should be. I to be honest, we put a goal. We could have actually got something out of that if we took our chances. But Pickford just made stupid fucking saves, and then we missed fucking sitters, and then we're just not doing enough. But it's the same shit, and it's not fun when you're having to go backwards and forwards. And it's the same way. It's li it literally has what I said during the game. Is it's fucking racehorses. It's every fucking player on their team will run forward. Then suddenly, twenty two seconds later, they'll be back where they are. It's bull. It fucking is. It's shit. What? Oh my god. Noah Lambert has just gone from a sixty-one to a sixty-five. He's jumped four roll just by changing position. That is fucking brilliant. And he will very soon be promoted when he when he, when he can be. And hopefully we can get another centre back in there. We'll see how it goes. Guerra still not really that good. Ugh. Navarro still not good enough. Uh, he's not good enough. <coughs> oh Jesus Christ, man. Um, anything here? Strong now. Oh, Andreas Barok, Bork, Boric. I don't know. Uh, but he can be signed up. Matheson. Uh, no, not really. But at least found him. Okay. Anyone else? What about England? Uh, nothing from what I can see. No, but it looks absolutely trash. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. So, you know, we we had an alright episode, as I suppose. We got a bit. We got a big win against Arsenal. We drew four four against Buddy Leeds. So we got a win, a loss, and a draw. And the one we lost is the one with the one I would have thought we'd lost. We would lose anyway. And we also beat Crystal Palace away as well. So that was good. Got another packed month of fixtures. I'm hoping to play at least one of these games against Tottenham Hotspur, Hotspur to try and get a bit of payback. And then we'll get into January. That is going to be big because hopefully. We're just really waiting for a lot of this team to start growing a lot more. But especially that centre mid role. I am maybe looking to possibly get something done there. Because we'll have about 20 million. So hopefully if we can sell a few more players. I've got a lot of young players coming up. Right, uh, Montez is probably going to take that spot of Yonny Dika. But he's still 24 so he can still grow. But he's actually just gone up to, up to that as well. Jamie Wright is still around there. Uh, I've got Moran Marine, who is keeping up with Lucas Vincent. Uh, I actually want to give him a new contract because he's a bit unhappy, but that's fine. <coughs> but anyway, um, Lucas Vincent, he, he, he's still 18 for God's sake. He'll, he'll just grow into a nice little player. Gavi is growing quite nicely. Do you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about his fucking development. I actually, I just want to get his passing and all, and his passing up to absolute stupid levels. Really, um, what's the best one for him? Uh, yeah, attacking mid attacking midfielder. That's what I want. I just need to get so certain stuff ready for up and good for him. Again, his son has not been brilliant. He's someone I would probably consider selling if I got a decent offer for him. Especially now that, like, before I couldn't even get, like, 16 million for him. He's actually worth 24 now. I'm not going to transfer him at all. I think he's, he's good, so I'm going to keep him. He's just not hit for me every season, so hopefully he does. Charlie De Prowl again. The, the winger role has just been a bit iffy for me so far. And obviously Grant, he's been pretty good as well. But unfortunately, again, he's just sort of gone and ghosted a little bit in this season so far. But anyway, I do feel like we've actually gone a little bit of a step in the right direction. The Chelsea game was insane, but we had chances. It's difficult. I feel like if we had a bit of a better midfield and a better centre-back, Cash was a bit frustrating for me. He was frustrating me a little bit. I think he's he just he'll get better. I, I can't lie, I've been tempted to maybe put Hoover in the centre back just to give me a break off cash, but whatever. Anyway guys, that is gonna be it. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Till next episode guys. Thank you for watching and I am out. <laughs>